Okay, we got Nilfgaard here. Rook and Brave. We need to kick one of the trebuchets. Now we got two charge generators. But nothing to... Well... These work best with the magic mic. But we don't have one. I need to win round one. I think we're just gonna take a copy of the archer. Arrakis, yeah? Hmm. So this deck managed to beat me last time. And he likes long rounds as well. I think the biggest problem I, I, I did, and this is uh biggest uh yeah, biggest uh mistake I made was that I kinda played against him as as like he was like a very controlling deck, but also he had like a lot of interest in uh going for a long ground free. Do I play the archer? This could be a mistake again. Oh, he can lock me. Let's boost Vizogota. He's not serious about fighting for round one. He's not playing much. Okay, in the lead by nine points. Maybe play a trebuchet. It's a little questionable. Do I play Aquas? just a little bit. Unfortunately, we can't gain a card. Our great the weekend. So I can't play her. Like I want to. Now that would have been pretty nice last round. But I suppose we just have to rely on the magic mics. You finished Plague Tail. Damn. I didn't even start finish uh, I didn't even start playing it yet. Is it good? What do you think about it now? Iron Cavalry gets thrown. I need to look for cards. Awesome. House of Schneider. Well, 
The archer is kind of okay. I definitely don't want that. And that guy's on the weak side. Uh, but I suppose we need to kick Margarita. Do I just want, want to double up on the Lyrian, Lyrian Cavalry? I don't know. I could be bad. It's a bit RNG. Do I want to play a copy of that? A, a copy of a bronze unit in my... Wow. I don't know about that. We can get out the magic mic, but that's not, not the best idea. One point, slave infantry. Play a copy of that. I can only play Illyrian Cavalry or... Uh... Well, actually, the Kedvin Vider Ganger is a lot better now. However, we probably don't need uh, too many of these. One is okay, but we don't need an entire army of them. This is a decent start. This works individually. Rock and rave! Okay, he's leaving it up. Good news. Or does he have a L? That would be an excellent one to damage a little bit. Okay, questionable move on my part. If I could steal that, that would be epic. So, we play this guy. We hit that. And that. So the goal is to take this guy, then steal his own dude. And or do we just... Ignore that and play the Lyrian. Well, just play the sword. Non come. Is this melee only? Fuck. Does that does that say melee? I think it says melee. God damn guys, I need some guidance here. I need to figure this shit out. We don't have a lot of time. That says non-conf, non so that's melee. So this is non-conf too. Okay, melee only. And then I, I guess we're going with the plan. Still this guy. And boost it a little bit. I'll break. Really? Maybe he's gonna build the forts. I think I need to play the video gangers. Okay. Uh, I guess we're just gonna boost. Hopefully he doesn't have a Gimpy. The fact that he doesn't have a way to shut down the <laughs> Vitam Bonatra. Holy crap. That helps. Text in German, voice in Japanese. I am missing only Italian song in the background and we have a uh, World War 2 Axis game. <laughs> oh man. 
Yeah, I was kind of worried about that. So I guess there's a good reason for everything. Hmm. Let's play in the back. So we hit Vivian. Get to play the back. Maybe the other pikeman gets wounded, and I'm gonna kill my own all the pikeman. Yeah, we got a target. Oh, look at that! Gregory the Gorgon didn't work. Okay, Prince Willem. Oh, he needs to be melee only, fuck. It, it works, right? Yes, kill everything! Kill that! We managed to win against uh, that guy, Party Vorbe. Bay. Vorbe. Bay. Done. We got him. GG. So, uh, we're gonna kick that. What are we keeping here? What are we not keeping here? I'm gonna have something. Fight with. Higher Vampire, Seager. Uh, let's go with the Lyrian Cavalry. What? A little down? It is... It's, it's shit. Oh, so yeah, yeah. The previous season is... It was garbage. No, it's not really garbage, but it was a bit messy. This season is like big fights. It's okay. It's it's okay. Chinese tongue twister. I don't even know how to pronounce those characters. <laughs> it's like good fucking luck. That's my Wi-Fi password. <laughs> my only question is, can you ever log into your Wi-Fi? What does that mean? Uh, it's really hard to say. It's not really something that can be explained easily. Again, Hungarian word, like how many fucking uh, sentences I need to say to even begin to explain it. But that's just an extreme example. That's not how it usually goes. I like to hear Hungarian. It's very melodic. Yeah, people said that I that uh, when I when I started streaming, they said that I sound sing songy. Um, I guess that was my Hungarian accent. But 8th season is uh, rushed, and because of that, have no logic. It was, it was, a, it was messy. Not speaking Chinese in 2019. But wow, that is an insane word. <laughs> yeah. Even Google doesn't know what it means. Well, the main word is Senchig. And it's conjugated to, well, way too much. Every two or three letters are, are conjugations and like, it's really hard to explain. And I, I can't really say that. I would need, I would need to go with something uh, easier. It's, it's more like, it's not really something that Hungarians would use in real life, okay? It's something that, it's still uh, technically correct, but it's it's not something you would ever use. Burning City, she shows her real face. 
Well, the thing is, and I, I went into the episode discussion, that apparently she was always held back by her advisors. She always tried to be a hard ass, and now she's not held back. So... She was always very driven to do things. So this is not terribly surprising. Did that at least mean something? Oh uh, yeah, that long word. The problem with English, John, is that in English, although Japanese might seem hard, but the fact that you you don't know how to say the fucking words makes all English words like kanji in, in, in Japanese. Because just because you know how to write the word, you don't know how to say it. In, in Japanese, if you know how to write it, or you know how to say it, you know how to write it. It, it works. Sometimes, uh, it, it's not true. Some, some characters can be written, but also can be uh, stand, can stand the symbols. Read what Rafal wrote. He burned a lot of things before, for me. It was logical. It was, yeah. My point is that she, or, she all, always had a bit of a bad side. But the point, well, I suppose the biggest problem is... Right now she's, uh... Maybe she's going too far. It wasn't like... I agree, it wasn't very logical. Although she's pretty feeling driven. That is most certainly correct. What? Am I gonna get scorched? I guess... That is the case. Hassan. English is very, very hard, I can say it. English is easy to get started with, but really hard to master. Even to this day, you guys point out, oh my god, you're pronouncing it incorrectly, or whatever. It, it comes up. And uh, and even in, even in England, even in fucking England, people have crazy different accents. Like... You, know, you you just travel like for like half an hour and people talk entirely differently. What the fuck? Okay, we gotta have some throwaways here. So that is the hard part. In Japanese, this like the hard part is getting started. I, I suppose, especially if you are uh, have no uh, experience. But I suppose the... well, I really shouldn't talk about only Japanese, but like, other languages, like, Japanese is a good example because it's very different. But if you don't try to learn Japanese as like, I'm lear I know English and I'm learning Japanese on top of it, no, you're learning Japanese, that's it. But if you try to learn like that, apparently it's like estimated that you can learn Japanese in like, uh, 300 hours. Uh, that's the... that's kind of the beginner level. Not only accent, but dialect. Yeah, how you say the words is just like... How the fuck you want. I guess we're gonna play that, but... This is a little annoying, because I don't want to lose a card. I fucking hate that. This card is stupid. I, I should start including it in all my square tail decks, because it can't even get locked. It can only get killed. The base power of this 5. Oh, I just fucked up, didn't I? I think I just colossally fucked up. Well, we're gonna play uh, Vincent Mice. No! Don't kill it! Don't kill it! So 
this drops it down to a 1. But it's only our 4 point play. And we need to play Vernon. Oh, Magic Mike. So weak. We play Sabrina. Use all the cards he has. Okay, we tried to kill Z uh, Gabor. Gabor is a Hungarian name. I'm just pronouncing it hung well, like how it's pronounced in Hungarian now. But I suppose I can say I can say Gabor. Well, I good night. What you posted a YouTube thing? You can't understand people from the far north of England? <laughs> How am I supposed to understand them that, then? Watch that link, if you will, see how much you can understand. I kind of want to save Sheila for later. Fine. There is nothing to double up on. That's fucking great. But we got a dead hand salt. Is there something to double up on? No, we played one of everything. <gasps> I'm not gonna play in the back. Prince Willem. Sure. Okay. Let's go with that. Get a dead hand salt. That is English with a Glasgow accent. Not even a dialect, just the accent. Yeah, it's messy. Like, English is the ultimate, easy to get into. Really fucking hard to master. We need the lock. There's no other gold cards to play. Not a higher vampire guy. I can only hit enemies. I guess I'm gonna replay his dwarf, maybe? <laughs> Pointless. We couldn't use hand salt. That would have helped a lot. Alright, seems like it's time to call it quits.
Playing front row against Goethe. Yeah. He just knew that I didn't have a trebuchet. It worked out. He was smart. You threw that game? How? Explain. 